Hey guys, it's TTL back with another rush kit for you. And today we're going to be taking a look at our second of the Z270 motherboards. You can see all of the other quick rush kit videos on the channel, so you can click there if you like to have a look. You can also subscribe if you like these quick videos as well. But the main reviews will be on the OC3D channel as and when I get to them. There will be loads live for uh, the actual NDA lift. This is just our first kind of teaser of these boards. But first of all, Tough 270, you'll see there is no mention of the word Sabretooth because Asus has kind of slightly changed the naming of the boards. Whereas the, we've now got Prime, we've got Tough, we've got Strix, and then the, uh, the actual Republic of Gamers boards come through as well. So uh, there is a slight change in that. I mean, you can see we've still got the Ultimate Force logo and everything up here, and we were used to seeing the Tough board before, but now there is, like I said, no nothing and no talk of Sabretooth. Now we can have a look inside. I've literally not seen this yet, so you're gonna see a virgin box opening today. So when we first box open, although when we get down here, we can actually see, I've got the first apple, oh yeah. There's quite a few 001s in my collection of the new 270 boards. But anyway, so this is what happens when we first open. And if we were to lift this out and have a look, don't forget, this is uh, my first time having a look as well, so we can all get excited together. Okay, so I'm, I am actually going to pop this completely open. There is a lot of plastic bags in here, but we have a stand, which I know this from the old Z170 um, Deluxes, so this is for M.2, so we'll get there. And then inside here, oh, these are all the uh, like dust covers. You've got two PCI Express dust covers there. Uh, actually, these are all PCI Express dust covers. So these will go on the board. So what I will do is I will stick those on the board when we get there. Actual board itself, I put to one side for a second. And when we look inside, we've got uh, the tough, the famous tough inside sticker. They've been using these for a while. You get a um, certificate of reliability. Now this bit is actually quite funny and this is something you guys will never see, but where the board is so new, I'm actually filming this on the 10th of December. You've got, um, it's a one that they've made up, so it's not even got a printed um, um, driver disc in there yet, but you will obviously get one. You get your user guide, uh, you get your IO, shield, and it's the spongy one, as you can see, nothing to catch your fingers on or anything like that. Four SATA cables, and then down here we have the little uh, pinout thing, so this is so that you can fit all of your um, case pinouts onto this before it goes down onto the board. And then we've got the CPU, uh, easy fitting CPU bracket thing that I still don't understand why they fit because I don't like them. But anyway, so that's that bit done. Okay, so there's a lot of complicated things that we need to kind of get through on here, but we'll start off with the simple stuff and that's the PCI Express covers that I talked to you about. So we can put those in. Now obviously you, you don't have to use all of them. If you had a graphics card here, then you wouldn't have them. But it gives you enough covers that you can cover them all up because obviously the, uh, on the back of the boards, there are outputs for video. So you might not actually have a graphics card. But while we're around here, you can see that we have uh, four USB 2s. There is another USB 2 here, but this you can actually use for doing your BIOS flashing and stuff as well. Uh, and your um, the director flash, so you can use this to actually flash it, the BIOS on the board, that actually happened to even have a CPU in there, it's kind of nuts. But then we've got HDMI, DisplayPort, we have dual Intel gigabit LAN here, two USB 3s, two USB 3.1s, these actually do share the same bandwidth, but you do have a C and an A connection, and then you have your audio here. Now there is some of the audio stuff, you can see that we've got some of the posh capacitors down here at the bottom, but there is a separate trail hidden up the side here. So, first things first, tough, I'm going to struggle not to call it the sabre tooth, because obviously we are so used to calling it the sabre tooth, but it does have uh, the part of the aura sync, so that this you can change the LED on, you can change the, it's an RGB, you can change the RGB of your graphics, but I have looked everywhere around and I can't find um, an actual RGB header on it. And I've also just seen, because it's actually incredibly well camouflaged, and I know you guys are already shouting at me, there is actually one down here. There's a PCI Express down here. 
And I'm gonna be honest, because I've just opened it for the first time, like I said, I didn't see it. But anyway, so we've got that one down there and it's all covered up. Now, when we do come to bandwidth, it's all kind of, it gets a bit funky. Now there is an M.2 slot underneath here. And as you can see, we've got all of the connections up to 110 millimeters there. And I showed you the extra bracket before, and that actually goes down here. So if you want to use this one, there's another um, mount underneath here. It will go on, I just, just I need, there we go. Okay, so you can have it down on the bottom. So you do get your two mounts. Now, what you need to also remember is the way that the PCI Express works, because before we always kind of relate PCI Express as being CPU related. But what they've done now is you do actually get the PCI Express coming from the chipset for this last PCI Express connector down here, and that's in case you want to use an add-on card. Uh, but th this uses four lanes from here. This uses four lanes from here, and this uses four lanes from here as well. But if you start using them all together, then uh, you can lose the um, five and six uh, SATA connectors here, and that will get allocated to this. So these basically get turned off, and it just makes sure that they're all getting a full 32 gigabits a second, which is what we want. Also, the PCI Express for this one, this one, and this one also comes from the chipset. So from the CPU, you get up to 16 lanes. That means this either gets 16 lanes, or if you use the second connector here as well, and you're running in SLI, then, then that means these get eight each, because both of these take their lanes from the CPU. There's no weird way yet to kind of mix and match them for want of a better term. So while we've got the uh, cover off, you can also see that the battery cover is under here, and it is actually quite simple to get the cover on and then all you need to do is have a screwdriver to hand like I do and then you can screw it back in place. I know a lot of people will be worried about uh, heat with these covers but I tested the new two terabyte Samsung 960 Pro and I didn't actually get any thermal throttling issues from these at all. If you've got one of the other older ones and you may need to rethink it uh, but I've not um, had any issues with all of the new stuff. So that's something to keep in mind. We have said about this being RGB. I've also said that I can't find any RGB for an external connector. And that's something we've got used to with the Asus stuff recently. So that's, you know, that's kind of a, uh, um, uh, it's an eye opener that they've left it off with this. Normally we would have it down here and it would probably normally have been this connector, but this is for the external fan. But while we are down the bottom, we can show you that we have here a USB 3 uh, external header two USB three, two um, external headers as well. Or those, these could be used for the older sort of cases, but mostly now these are gonna be used for things like an AIO cooler and other kind of um, uh, like uh, RGB controllers and stuff like that that you can use on board. Come along, that's your M.2 connector there. This is your IO for all your switches and your LEDs for your case. And then we go into a bunch, bunch bank, of uh, four PWM headers up here. You've got six SATAs. This is your high amp. There we go, there we go. High amp fan and you've got a channel fan. I'll show you back down here as well because there's a lot of channel fan talk there. When we come up, we have the USB, the second USB 3 there, 24 pin. All of these two pin connectors that you'll see scattered around are actually thermal probes that you can attach. So there are quite a few of them around. Then uh, this is your mem OK button, as you can see there. We come back along the top and you can see that we have, there you go, CPU fan, optional CPU fan and your water pump header. Moving along, you've got the assist fan as well. These assist fans in the uh, software, you can actually set the assist fans to keep running after you turn your PC off, as long as you don't turn it off at the wall, you can actually set those ones to keep running, because I ended up doing that with my uh, RRR racing rig. Um, so if you were to connect your back fan to this, you can have that running um, 30 seconds, 60 seconds, I think you can do it up to three minutes afterwards to keep the airflow. Um, I've never understood why they haven't um, added that feature onto the water pump because if I, I would probably, I'd be much happier having the water pump pumping than the, a fan in the back, or at least both of them. 
So yes, so we've got all of those things around. We can have a look at the tough components around the board. Now they're quite difficult for us to get to, but you can see them around there. There's plenty of caps. There's plenty of uh, chokes and everything underneath there. We can also see the uh, military kind of camo-y sort of design on the board as well. We'll come down while we're zoomed in. You can see the, the ornament force right in on the board with the camo around it. That was my best Batman voice. Um, and then the chipset down here. You can see on the chipset that you have the power, boot, VGA, DRAM and the CPU. Now normally you'd have little lights up the side, but these actually have lights underneath. So that's where your uh, fault lights come from. You know the lights, I mean, that they if it freezes, the light stays on and it's the, the kind of the boot loop that you can keep an eye on. So that's a sexy look at the board. And obviously we need to zoom out and zoom out and zoom out. And then the other things that they, uh, they do like to talk about, and they're all on the box kind of here, but they do say that they're doing professional graphics card QVL. Although, to be honest with you, I've never found a graphics card that didn't work with a board. If you do find one, I would love to know. Then they say about the thermal armor. Um, now, the thermal armor design is obviously something that's always been a bit controversial. Uh, I see these as being something to either cover up the PCB, so it kind of it can be an aesthetic if you like that sort of thing. Also, with it being an aesthetic, uh, we would uh, quite a lot of people would be found to paint them. But because of the RGB sector here, that could be uh, a problem for all, anyone thinking about doing it now. But you could also, you know, paint that, paint over it, and then laser cut it, or you could make your own cover for it with your own logo on it. So there's lots of uh, customising options with this, um, if you were to do it. Also, if you don't like it, you could just rip it off. But anyway, the other thing is the thermal radar too. There are lots of fan headers around the board, and there are also lots of thermal probe headers uh, around the board and thermal sensors built into the board as well. So it's something that when you um, install the software, it will give you a really, really good look at what's going on with the board. So if you're one of those people that like to have the software on your rig and you like to keep an eye on things, you like to tweak, set up different fan profiles, make sure things aren't getting hot, this is one of the boards that will really kind of keep you busy for ages with all the things that you can play around with. It does also say about the Asus Aura Sync, but as I said, we've only got that one there. And I'm just looking to see if it, you know, all, all your Aura enabled products. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah, see, um, onboard LED illumination. Da -da -da. Yeah, and I can't see a header for the external one anyway, anywhere. Someone may end up telling me, but I certainly, can't find it. And I've looked in the paperwork that I got with the board as well, because they do send us all sorts of like PDFs and specs for the board and all that kind of thing. And I can't find any talk about an external header. So uh, um, yeah, let's hope I don't have to refilm this. But anyway, so that's our first look at the, I'm gonna call it the saber tooth because it's always gonna, be, it's always been the saber tooth. I think people are still gonna say it always will be as well. But anyway, it's the Asus Tough 270 motherboard. It will be reviewed on the OC3D uh, main channel, but it won't be for launch. It'll be a week or two afterwards because we have an awful lot of stuff to get through. So if you're watching this video as an early doors, it will be coming, just not straight away. Give us a couple of weeks and we will get to it. There are gonna be an infinite amount of other boards though. We have um, every launch board that Asus is releasing, we have right now at the beginning of December. So uh, we will be working our way through them, but I, at this present moment in time, I am gonna be putting five reviews up of Asus products on the day. So go and have a look at those. There will be other brands as well, if you're interested in those as well. So we have an awful lot of work to do, but for now at least, with your video rush kit of the tough, blah, 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 tough, I was gonna say T270 because of the tough, but anyway, tough Z270 Mark I motherboard. This is TTL out. <laughs>